Hello there. God bless you. This message is for you that has allowed your heart to be so broken because of that failed relationship with him or with her. I would like you to pull yourself together in a minute and listen to what God has in stock for you through this message. First of all, I want you to understand that God loves you so much and that is why he has allowed what has happened in your life right now to happen. Yes, I know for sure right now. You feel so shattered, so disappointed. You feel like you don't have anything to live for because she left you, because he left you. Do you know that God knows the ending of any relationship in your life from the beginning of it? Because he is the all-knowing God. He knows the ending of anything, even from the beginning of it. God knows it all. He knows it all. And so if God decided to close one door in your life, don't forget, he is going to open a new door and a much more better door, a door that even you yourself would be like, God, this is too much for me. I don't deserve this. And God will say, look, my child, I promised you a better door. Take it and enjoy it in your life. And this is why I want you to hear what Isaiah chapter 43 verse 18 and 19 says. It says, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the west land. And this is the word of God straight to you. God is telling you that he is the one that shut that door because that door is a wrong door for you to walk through. So forget it. He said he has a better plan for you. He has something much better than what you are crying for right now. And he should let go. He's even asking you, can't you see what I'm trying to do for you? And he wants you to see that, not to dwell in the past, not to cry for the one door he had shut in your life. He sees and he knows what is coming in the future. God can see the trouble, the fight, the beatings, the screaming, and the much more hatred that is coming in that relationship. In the future, that will make you ask him questions. God, why did you allow me to go into this kind of trouble when you would have stopped me? So that is exactly what he's doing now. Because he doesn't want you to ask him this question in the future. Like he doesn't care for you. And God knows the intent of every man's heart. So if she decided to leave you or he decided to leave you, it is how God wants it to be because it will be better for you you know to cry a little bit today than crying all the days of your life when you're married to that person have you forgotten what god said in his word in hebrews 13 verse 5 that he will never leave you nor forsake you yes that is a promise from god that he will never leave you nor forsake you he will never leave you to end up with a wrong person, a wrong man, or a wrong woman in your life. Now, I will want you to take a look at the person you are crying for. Does he show any concern or does she show any concern about your tears and your worries? No, of course. That is because the love is not there. So he or she does not care how much you are crying. See, she is living a life. And he is living his life. So why not do the same thing? That man, that woman walked out of your life because he or she was the wrong person in your life. He never loved you. She never loved you. That is why it's so easy for him or her to walk out of your life. There was no inner connection from that person to you. That person only came into your life for you to learn a lesson. And the lesson could be good or bad lesson. 
But at least you have learned something in that relationship. And that lesson will make you become a better person tomorrow. In your marriage or in your next relationship. And maybe because you have invested a lot in that relationship and you feel you must not let it go because of how much you have spent the time, the love, the money, and other things. Those things are nothing compared to your joy and your peace of mind. So let it go. Let those things go. Forget all about that. Think of your future. Think of your happiness in the future your peace in the future and stop crying stop crying for goodness sake do you not know that it is not every relationship that one goes into that will end up in marriage some people come into your life to teach you a lesson and help you become a better person tomorrow like i've just said that person never loved you your tears cannot make that person love you or would you like the person to just feel pity for you and stay with you because he or she does not love you and will never love you and honestly it is a complete waste of time and energy to stay with someone who doesn't love you because you are not meant to be together and you know any relationship that is based on pity doesn't last someday he or she will still work out and in most cases that is when you will hear a husband had killed his wife or a wife had killed her husband why because this person needs space because this person feels suffocated by your presence in his or her life so the next thing the person will be thinking is to eliminate you so he can breathe so she can breathe and move on with his or her life and now god does not want you to become such a victim in the person's hand so that is why god had made it to be the way it is right now instead of you to become a victim it's better he walks out of your life or she walks out of your life peacefully but you are here crying and crying your heart out. So please wipe your tears and cheer up. It is not the end of the world. Honestly, you really have to be very thankful to God for delivering you from that trouble. Great and beautiful things are waiting for you. And I wanted to say that. Amen. Dear Lord, I want to thank you for this, your child that you have blessed through every of your word that he or she has heard today and i know and i believe that you have better plans for this your child dear lord i also want to pray for understanding concerning all your plans for him or her in the mighty name of jesus christ amen dear lord i also want to pray for your mercies towards this your child in any way he or she has offended you in a season like this in her life in his life and for the fact that these ones are human and they are bound to make mistakes to say things in a season of trouble to say things in a period of pains in their lives that does not bring glory unto you to think things that will not bring glory unto you, to act in a way that will not bring glory unto you. Father Lord, have mercy. Forgive this one in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Dear Lord, I also want to pray that you comfort this your child in a time like this, in her life, in his life. This one needs your comfort. Comfort this one. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray, Lord, that you heal the heart of your child concerning this heartbreak. Heal her heart. Heal his heart. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heal the heart spiritually. Heal the heart physically. Heal the heart emotionally. Heal the heart socially. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.
Dear Lord, the heart of every man is in your hands and you can turn it whither way you want it to be. I pray at this moment, Lord, that you guide his heart, her heart, away from evil thoughts, evil actions, and evil words in this trying time in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, turn their hearts towards your word and let your word mean everything to them in a season like this, in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Dear Lord, I pray for your grace upon your son, your daughter, to wait patiently for your perfect time to bring the right partner for them. A partner that will love him, will love her for real. A partner that will give them peace and joy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Dear Lord, I also want to pray as you bring the right person for your son, for your daughter, as a life partner. Father, take away fear from him. Take away fear from her. And give him or her the inner peace that will be a sign that this is your will for him or for her. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please, I want you to understand that this channel is open at all times for your prayer request. It doesn't matter what it is. Just bring it to God and the Lord will surely reach out to you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my sister. I am so happy for you today because your case has been settled by God. And please, I want to say, in a season like this, spend time reading the Word of God. Meditate on the Word of God. And let the Word of God be the light on your path that will lead you to the right direction every single day in your life. Amen. And also, spend time with your loved ones, you know, your friends and your family members. It will help you to get healed in a very short time. And do not change from the good person that you are. Don't hate anybody from the opposite sex. Everybody are not the same. So that you not use that to drive away the God-ordained person in your life. Cheer up. God is in control of everything. And God loves you so much. And I'm sure you know that by now. God bless you. Bye for now.